Well, I think that's for the... Yeah, well, I think I'd like to get it. Guys, can you want to thank everybody for coming out today? To the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Bill. Awesome. Bob. Bob. The minute I'm going to ask anybody that's Bill, right, Bob. Bob. to uh, reaffirm that oath, hey, uh, anybody who has never taken the oath, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that. But I want to talk to you real quick about what we're doing here with the concern of uh, gun owners of Bucks County. We have a couple of things we're doing to get people involved and contact their legislators job. and make their voices heard. Uh, another thing we're working on is the uh, Constitutional Sheriff Initiative. Uh, that was started originally by Sheriff Max, the founder of CSPOA, to empower the sheriff with knowledge of his duty and authority as the chief law enforcement officer of the county. So we have petitions here. Please make sure you sign a petition or you take one with you and get some signatures on it. I also wanted to let you know about uh, Oath Keepers. Oath Keepers, I'm just going to read you a short description here. We have some literature over here on the table. Oath Keepers is a nonpartisan association of currently serving military, reserve, National Guard, veterans, peace officers, and firefighters who will fulfill the oath we swore with the support of like-minded citizens who take an oath to stand with us to support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic, so help us God. Our oath is to the Constitution, not to the politicians, and not to any political party. In the long-standing tradition of the U.S. military, we are apolitical. We don't care if unlawful orders come from a Democrat or Republican or if the violation is bipartisan. We will not obey unconstitutional and thus unlawful and immoral orders, such as orders to disarm the American people or to place them under martial law. We won't just follow orders. So anybody that's taken the oath or anybody that's heard it is well aware that, like I just read, it's not sworn to a government or any person. The Oath Keepers do not advocate or promote violence or acts of aggression towards any person, group, or organization, or any government, whether local, state, or national. We simply want all public servants to live up to their oath as written. So what I'm going to ask right now, anybody that's taken the oath that wants to reaffirm it, or anybody that's never taken it, raise your right hand and repeat after me. And after I say I, you state your own name. I, Andrew <coughs> Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge these duties. And that I will well and faithfully discharge these duties. So help me God. So help me God. All right, I just ask everybody as we're spreading out, I think Bill's going to get up and just say a few quick words. I just ask everybody as we're here, be courteous and respectful of pedestrians. Don't block the sidewalks. Be polite. We're here to spread our message about a peaceful line in the sand. So, again, thanks for coming out. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, what we'll do is, as soon as Bill's done talking, we'll move around the shoulder and spread out down along the sidewalk along Main Street. Thank you. Also, we have quite a few signs laying over here. If you don't have a sign, you want to lay it on the ground. Thank you. Good morning, Patriots. Celebration of freedom. Showing the basis of the 
So if you move out now, grab some signs and all. 